There's a big, big Australian influence in the NBA, and, and uh, I always enjoy watching those guys compete. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. I mean, those, those guys, man, they, they're good guys. You know, they're fun to be around. Uh, you know, they're just full of energy. You've developed people here who have character, and they also have a toughness. You know, they care about each other. It's a, it's a great example to follow. I mean, I played with two in uh, Delhi and Thon Maker. Those guys are at first, they're high character guys, great guys that are team first, and then they're, they want to compete, they're hungry. It's our mateship. We're about the team, not about ourselves. And when we come together and add talent to that mix, it's successful. You've seen a lot of guys from Australia play in this league and play very well. They're good teammates. They're into team. They value that. They're not as individualized as uh, we are over here in the U.S. It almost seems like a more cultural thing than a pure basketball skill thing. Frankly, they're just more coachable. So a lot of junior basketballers will play a little bit of footy or NRL or whatever it is, right? So I think that just kind of gives you a bit of a feel for a big list and, and being part of a, a greater team of, you know, AFL's got 18 players. If you don't carry your small little load, it's going to hurt. Domino effect, right? Culturally, you know, the, the toughness aspect really helps them, uh, especially when they go over to the, uh, the States. It must be a cultural thing, but you know, every, every Australian guy that I've ever met in the NBA has just been a fantastic teammate and funny and vibrant and a lot of charisma, a lot of presence in the locker room. I think it must be, you know, just kind of the way they're raised here in Australia and the way they grow up playing in, in the Institute of Sport. It's really a breath of fresh air when you have one of those guys on your team in the NBA. It brings a different dynamic.